is Kaylee. She fell in love with Cody. People judge our relationship because we get down and dirty in public. Down and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> the first night we met, we yeah. actually did the outside in public. Fingers crossed we've never gotten in trouble. We've never gotten in trouble. But we could go yeah. to jail. <laughs> when the couple first met, Kaylee was already a big name in the adult industry. And it wasn't long before Cody joined her, broadcasting their escapades to an audience online. I've received a little bit of judgment from my family side. My sister Nina's coming over and she has some strong opinions about our relationship. I know she won't hold back at all. What made you think that it was a good idea to drag him into this? We got this map. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So let's show you where we've done it. Let's see in the states alone, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, 16. 16 states. Not bad. Not bad. Europe. One of my favorites was Italy. We had a lot of fun in Italy. Then we actually popped straight up to Germany from there. Germany's a little strict yeah, on the rules. Yeah, they got a little more so. rules going on. Yeah. Austria. We did. We popped over to France. That was very pretty. So we started doing this like two months into us dating. Yeah, so it's been about eight months to a year close to of us checking off places checking on the map. Off, yeah. We started in Mexico and then we started working our way. We're going to way around the from there. We love traveling. Mm -hmm. So it's nice because we get to see beautiful places and then make love and beautiful. Places. That's the thing. We get a beautiful view and, and get to make love. So it works out like, perfect. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't we do that? Because First night we met, we yeah. actually immediately did the outside in public. I didn't even know her name really the first time and then we were doing it in front of all our friends. <laughs> the first time I met Kaylee, I was working at a local bar and my buddy was like, man, my wife's got this friend coming in. She's so hot, you gotta meet this girl. And then my friend, who was the wife, was saying the same thing about him. Like, you gotta meet Cody, he's so hot. So I go over and say hi to them. And they're like, hey, you wanna come out when you get off and come have drinks with us? Of course I say yes. And he was being really, really shy, wasn't making any moves. So I took him to the bar and I just started making out with him because I was like, we gotta speed this up. Like, this is taking too long. I like, kissed him first, but the in public situation, was me. he started. That was all me. We ended up going to an after party with our friends and these random men, and we went to their apartment. I'm like, you know, let's go to the patio, be a little more private out there. So we, we go out, and I'd say maybe five minutes in sitting out there, we're, we're getting intimate, and I think maybe 30 minutes have gone by, and our friends are like, where'd those guys go? So they come and search for us on the patio, and there we are on the patio. So everyone sees us. Everyone sees us. Uh, getting do, down do and it, dirty. Getting down that. and dirty on the patio. <laughs> Best night ever. I think I like the risk of it. The adrenaline of having like the potential of getting caught. I like the risk of getting caught, but I don't want to get caught. If that makes sense. 100%. I'm the same way. Like the thrill of knowing you could get caught is what makes me excited. We've been caught before. Yes. Yeah, there's been a few. There's been a few times. <laughs> I've received a little bit of judgment from my family side. I told my sister the whole story of the night we first met, <laughs> and I think she had thought that was kind of the, the gist of it, like that's where it would end and that's where it would be done. And then as it kind of developed into more, I was telling her I love her, I told her it was getting serious. My sister had some reservation. She's like, are you sure this isn't just like, you know, lust or because of what she does, like you're having such a good time. Yeah. I actually started adult content before I met Cody, and I was kind of hoping that he would want to start doing it, and I wanted to ask him, but I didn't know how you would ask that, because it's kind yeah, of it's tough to ask. a weird question. Yeah, I, I went, I went to her together? and I was like, hey, what would you think about you know, us doing this together? Is that something you want to do? And she's like, thank you, I've been waiting. <laughs> I was like, why didn't you say something? I would have done this two months ago. We I was been... like, thank God. <laughs> My parents, I have not actually told them what I do. I haven't literally yes. said, we make adult content. Maybe. I'll probably never say that to my mother, <laughs> I don't think. I think the best part is Kaylee is a partner in every mm -hmm. facet of what I do. It's nice because we get to work together. Some I people, love it. Yeah, some people might want to get away from each other. We are the opposite. <laughs> we get some hate online. We definitely get some aggressive comments. Just because yeah. people are, sh they're, they're brave behind the computer. So they'll say what they really want to say. I think one of our most negative comments was this one at the Grand Canyon, which was actually our favorite. You won lucky man. Congratulations on finding a woman like this. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so, so boring. Get a life. Who cares? We get that one. Uh, this one said, can't wait for the uninvited grizz grizzly bear to join, hinting that they would like a bear to a eat bear us. bear to come attack us. And <laughs> so that's pretty mean. It's pretty dark, yeah. <laughs> for me, I probably get more hate than Cody, just being a female. Um, he kind of gets high fives. 
<laughs> yeah, I get, I get a lot of, you know, you're a lucky dude. Way to go, bro. Like, congrats. Living the dream. <laughs> Wish I could do that. And everyone's like, you know, yeah. Kaylee's parents gotta be disappointed. So proud, and, like yeah. she doesn't have a father, like those kind of comments. Yeah. I'm like, hey, we do it together. Yeah. <laughs> and this, we're both in the video together. I know Cody because he is my brother, my little brother, one of the youngest. Cody introduced Kaylee that he was going out with this top adult model. So I got on Instagram and did some deep diving on her. I was like, excuse me, what? Like, we were all kind of raised a little more on the religious side. So yeah, probably a little disgusted, maybe, maybe a little bit ashamed, embarrassed for him. Never thought it would turn into a long term relationship because he's so sweet and sensitive. Hello. So Kaylee, how did you get into this adult content world of yours? Well, I started first just modeling, like fashion modeling. And then I got introduced to the adult content during COVID and then I just started doing it and I thought, why not? <laughs> <laughs> just ran with it? Like, yeah, I just ran with it. Bared and, it all. Yeah. And, okay. And then you bang into Co Cody. <laughs> <laughs> what made you think that it was a good idea to drag him into to this? Because he is a very different person, mm -hmm. um, very sensitive. Actually, I never brought it up. Yeah, it was actually my idea. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I I'm probably turning red. <laughs> I never brought it up. I was just continuing to do my own thing, and we were dating for probably like two it, months. It'd been like two months, and, and I, I moved out up. to LA. Two months into dating? Wait, you didn't tell us till like not very long ago. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have to process that, that it wasn't just out of the Katie, Kaylee list, like sucking you in. This was your own. Yeah. I mean, it no, my, it was my as own much cross. as as much as I have my reservations, I'm kind of proud of you for getting out of your box a little yeah. bit. What about when you have kids? Yeah, that's that's a tough question that we've kind of addressed amongst each other. We've and talked about it a couple it's times. It's something that and... like we feel like our kids will eventually find it, and then we'll have a conversation of like you know how we approached it, and we we knew it would be out there forever, mm -hmm. and that's the risk that we knew we were taking when we did mm. it. So. It's all I want truly is the best for you, yeah. whether you're exposing yourself or not. Like if you're working at the bar, yeah. you know, no matter what, that's ultimately what I know myself and our entire family wants. Right. And, you know, we will do everything we can to support you guys through that and the hard times, you know. I would say uh, to anyone that judges us, you know, take the time to get to know us, who we really are, uh, not just kind of what you might have conceived based off one thing that we do. We're just doing our thing. If you don't want to know about it, don't know about it. <laughs> yeah. We've started discussing having kids in a couple of years and babies. having babies. And we're getting married next summer. And then in terms of our, our work life, I think we're going to try to do this as long as we can, as long as we still enjoy doing it. And then from there, we're going to work on our next venture after that. Hopefully our kids like to travel. Yeah. <laughs> Why does our relationship work? I've never met someone that I feel is me in another form. <laughs> like my humor, she loves it. She she right back at me with some stupid comment or a joke and He's just so kind and such a gentleman and he always thinks about me first. Are you correct? Okay. <laughs> He's never put himself before me. Let me know.